Hi and welcome to another NET Vapor Review. Today's review is about a new tank. Uh, I'm sure you heard by now about this tank. It's called the Kelpie by EH Pro and Vaping with Vic, the Kelpie. Now this tank I heard quite a lot about, but since I've got the gear by OFRF that I'm enjoying very much. I thought why should I buy another thing, another single coil RTA if I've got one already and I'm happy with it. But a friend of mine, Alan, um, asked me to, if he gives it to me as a gift, would I review it? I said, of course I would. Um, and then he asked me to compare it to the gear RTA. So that's what I'm going to do today. So without further delay, I'm just re-angle the camera and we'll check out the tank, set it up, vape on it. And as I go along, I'll point out the advantage or disadvantage against the gear because the gear I know inside out by now. So we'll get two birds in one go. Also to build the deck, assemble the tank, vape it, and also compare it to the gear and see which one is the winner. So let me just re-angle the camera and we'll go for it. Okay, I hope this angle is correct. It's very limited on how I can angle this camera. So let's try and do it right. Okay, so here we go. So what you get in the in the in the box is the tank itself. I never used it before, so this is new to me as well. And if I can set it up, anyone can, so we'll do it together. Okay, let me just change my glasses to reading glasses. Ah, now it's much better. Okay, I'm going to mount it on a mod. This is called the Smock Baby Alien, I think it's called. Um, R -A -H -R -H -A 85 the reason why I bought I got this mod in the first place because it's small compact and and got an 18650 Golisi battery inside so it's perfect and also you get you get a nice um, screen um, and it gives you all the information volts, ohms, amps, mod, and puffs, and wherever you need to know. It's quite very simple, and here's the fire button. So, what we're going to do is like this. We'll check out the tank first, and we'll see what what it's like. First of all, the drip tip is a quite nice drip tip. Um, very nice. I like the resin. And here's one plus with this tank that it is a slide while the gear you have to unscrew. And by the way, with this gear, because you screw and unscrew, I had the bubble glass after a while, it started cracking, and then the whole glass cracked. I had to, so I'm putting now the not the bubble one, so that's in my book a bit of a problem. So here you haven't got this problem because every time you want to fill in the liquid, you just slide the top. Okay, now let's put this back. I have to make sure that I'm in the frame of the camera. So here you got the airflow. It's um, quite comfortable to turn. And this is another plus, because if you've got the gear, this bottom ring here, you turn it and it turns idle and it, do it loses its grip, little nudges and it loses its grip and you just turn, turn, turn and it's a bit of a hassle to open the deck. 
um, I had one problem with it and they replaced it and this is the same problem so what I do is I grip it uh, very tightly and then I turn so it works sometimes it doesn't and if not I just take off the ring and turn it in my bare hands without the ring but here it seems a much better build quality yes you see you can turn it without no problem at all right this is the deck looks very nice inside now this is another plus with the kelpie because you got the air configuration here wow look at this amazing I'm sure more professional reviewers will explain to you this whole layout but for me it's what I see and I see a nice airflow configuration and another plus I see that these screws although they're a bit tiny but I did get a set of another few screws it's probably a bit bigger replacement hex screws for the Kelpie RTA yeah okay so these screws are quite small but the advantage of this they can configure your coil anyway up or down legs down legs up or both together that's what i'm going to do so if you get for instance see they gave you they supplied you with coils so here you got two coils o-rings and a screwdriver ah so this coil is legs opposite each other so we can mount them in the normal way but if you get a coil that are both legs are equal you can just stick them into either left or right that's perfect okay let's mount the tank on and open up the screws let's use the screwdriver let's see if it works the screwdriver it's a bit fiddly most probably oh, it's all right oh a bit tight come on no a little bit tight let me use another one i've got This is a very good one. That's the flat one, and the other side. Oh, this is tight. All right, got him. Okay. So lift it high enough to mount the coil right and now that's it so basically what you see is here it's already mounted more or less inside so what I do is I just put my finger and see so I just put my finger and hold it in place and let's tighten up the screws back down uh, what you want is the coil to be right center but above the airflow These screws are really small. That's a bit of a con, but I've got new ones in here, but I'm not going to use them now. I suppose they realized it was a problem. That's why they... Uh... Okay, so now the coil is mounted more or less in the center. I'm going to just recenter it. This is a three millimeter. 
Yep, three millimeter. So I'm gonna just lift it a bit. So, no, let me lower it a bit. So what we need is the coil to be flush with the deck. So you put your finger, is it flush? You let go. That's it, this is perfect. Let me just make sure it's tight. This is tight. You don't want to tighten them too much because then to unscrew them it's going to be a bugger. Okay, let's fire it. See what happens. Oh, let me, let me first cut off the... Oops. Okay. Did I cut it all the way? I think so. Let's do the other one. Oh, it just flies everywhere. Now this is sticking out. And that's it. That's it. You don't want it to stick out because this can cause a short. But the problem is I can't get the so so much I can get it near to the deck. I think this is okay. Yeah, I think this is okay. Okay, let's fire it and see how, let me just take, right. So, it comes up as a 0 0.238 ohm. I suppose, the nut we'll see when we put in the, let's fire it. Or maybe I should reduce the wattage. Let's put it on 20 watts just to fire it. Twenty watts. Okay. Small pulses. You can see how the color changes into gorgeous purple. Make sure there's no hot spots anywhere. Starting to glow nicely. See these coils, I think these are fused Clapton coils. It takes them a bit longer than the than the smooth wire. Yep, I think it's glowing quite nicely. Always has to glow inside out, as you know. indeed okay so this was very easy now we'll cotton it now since this is a three millimeter I cut off a quarter roughly of a, a moji uh, pad and uh, hope it's not too thick Roll it in a bit. Now, if it's too thick, I'll just put another one in. Sometimes I get it wrong. I'm gonna just make sure it's not. Oh, it's boiling hot. Let me give a break for a minute. Right.
Okay, I think it's cooled down enough. Feed it through. And yeah, this is the right thickness. You don't want it too thick and you don't want it too thin. Now, to cut the cotton, if you can see here, you've got this little groove in the deck. So you want your cotton to be more or less like a bow tie and just a little bit to hang down on down below just to get a, enough to soak the liquid from below. So let's now so what I do is I'll cut it right by the deck. I rest my scissors by the deck. Let me just pull it just a bit more. It's a bit thick on this side, so like this I get enough on this side. I'll cut it here by the deck. So you don't want to cut it too short because then you're going to have a problem. Let's make sure it's the right length. Yeah, so you see, it just by the top of the gro groove here. Yeah, just make sure. Yeah, perfect. So we'll do the other one as well, the same idea. You rest your scissors by the deck. And so what you get is a nice bow tie. Fluff this up. Now, if you're putting in high VG liquid, so then you just moisten the coil, moisten the edges of the, of the cotton, and you just mount the deck without, it'll just tuck itself in. You see, when you mount the deck, it's pushing the cotton downwards. That's when you put high VG, but this, I'm using here, I'm not sure I'll review this liquid. I'm not sure it'll be before or after this review. But this is called 12 Monkeys Nico Iced. This is one of my summer collections. Um, it's a lovely um, tropical, it's, I think it's lemonade and um, mint and watermelon liquid. And this is 65 VG, so what I'm going to do is I'll moisten the coil and the cotton. And, and here you can, I think you should moisten them quite, quite too generously. Right now, what you do is you simply get these fluff, these fluffs here. Let me just cut this. There's something here annoying me here. Little piece sticking out. That's it. So, what you do is you just gently lower the cotton to rest against the side of the deck. So because the, the cotton is quite moist, it's fairly easy to do. I think this is a bit too long, so let me just cut it a bit more. That's it. You don't want it to hang down too much. You just want it to hang down just where the deck starts to groove in. You see in the top. 
Right, that's basically it. So what you've got here is a little mound and flopping down a bit, that's all. That's all there is to it. Mount the tank. So you get these little fluffs of cotton right below the chimney. Actually, it's a nice looking chimney as well. Okay. Oh, by the way, you get a bubble glass with it as well. It holds a bit more liquid. But I like this, the smooth one. And this is a 25 millimeter um, tank and a perfect match to this smock. Okay, just close this. Tight. Right, let's see what it come up as an ohm. It came up as a zero, uh, where is it? Ohms. Uh, where's the ohms here? 0 0.238, up uh, 0.238, yeah, whatever. Okay, let's fill up the tank. Uh, ah, here you've got, you see here you've got a little, a sign, um, what does it say here? Kelpie. So that's where you push. And by the way, before I open up the, before I fill up on the chimney itself, you get a nice, um, something of a of a chest. I think it's a chess piece. Either the king and the and the and the horse. I'm not sure, but it's a nice looking emblem on it. Right. Let's fill up the tank. Oops. Okay, I think it's still the top already. Maybe just a little bit more. Right, it's filled up till the right top. Close this. And now we'll bring, so it's all done. So this is the Kelpie by EH Pro. Now I've got another EH Pro. The true tank um, from Nature Vapes and EH Pro as well. This is EH Pro and vaping with Vic. Wide opening. Let's increase the wattage. Uh, let me get the camera back on top. Right. Let me change my glasses out. Okay. So, here we go. So I've got the Kelpie and the, the gear. Both have got the same liquid. Both have got similar coils. Um, let's have a look at the coil. What does it come up as? Zero point, well, it's zero point to I can't read it so small I think it's nearly three ohms and this is three ohms as well 0 0.3 ohms right let's try it the Kelpie oh one minute I want to increase the wattage to 40 watts this is normally my evening vapes the fruit as you know by now if you watch my reviews but the purpose for this, for the, for the purpose of this review, I'm gonna vape it now. Mmm. Wow. So now let's vape the gear. Now this both are six milligrams nick, so I hope I don't overdose myself. 
This is a bit noisier. This is quieter. Flavor, they're exactly the same. Exactly the same. It's a cooling um, liquid. This has got like mint, watermelon, and lemonade, and it leaves your lips tingling. I'm not sure if this will come before this review on this liquid, but this is one of the top liquids I, I've used now. I mean, you can see yourself, it's gone down half. It's a top liquid for the summer, especially when you're sitting on the beach. Oh, and it's a hot day, this is spot on. Amount of vapor. The, the airflow is top notch. And it turns very easy. But so is the, is the gear when it's all set up. A bit stiffer. Um, this is smaller, but I suspect is because you've got a higher deck. So if you put the chimney against each other, they're nearly the same. And this has got a, a a taller lip for the opener for the opening the tank this is a screw off this you have to turn to take it off and this is a so it's much easier to fill up the tank and also less chances of cracking your glass that's what I had I like the drip tip the mouthpiece it's very nice you can see the colors it's resting on more or less the same size mod. This is the um, Inakin Coroma platform series. And this is the Smock Baby Alien, I think it's called. Yeah, so this is a built in battery. This is. 18650, I go uh, Golisi. If you watch my review on the Golisi, the excellent batteries, they last for your ages. Especially when you're vaping on 40 watts. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. What do you think? It looks taller, but. It looks taller. But the flavor is spot on. Look at the amount of vapor, this is 60, 65. Let me give a, a proper draw on it. Wow. Ooh. Amazing. The flavor is excellent, but so is the gear RTA. The flavor is superb. It's a lot noisier. So, there you go. Let's recap the advantages and disadvantage. It's, so far, I can't see any disadvantage with the Kelpie. Easy to coil, easy to wick, easy to fill, easy to open up the deck not like the gear that is sometimes fiddly that comes off the ring comes off less chances of cracking the glass by opening it to refill your liquid especially if you go a bubble glass that the lip of the glass is very thin i wonder if this if this one is any thicker let's have a look mm, might be a bit thicker not sure um yeah, all in all, I think the Kelpie is the winner because of the build quality and ease of use. This is also very easy to coil and, 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 um, and wick. 
but there's two major factors that go towards the kelpie is the fact that the deck the um, lower the o-ring the ring from the airflow and to, to, to dismantle the tank is much easier to fill up the liquid is easier and um, yeah and it's very easy to coil and also the, the advantage that you can coil it any configuration you want that's a major advantage you can put in the coils two legs like this one opposite either side uh, coil up coil down you've got many options here you're limited to one configuration either coil up um, coil up legs down or coil down legs up and that's it a lot of times you buy ready-made coils they come the two legs facing the same direction so here's perfect you just mount them in so this is the review on the Kelpie by EH Pro and Vaping with Vic. Very nice tank indeed. I'll be vaping this now for the next few weeks. If there is any update, I'll update you, but it's perfect. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put in two different liquids here and there, and I'm gonna use them. Um, on various occasions because the gear RTA is very good indeed except for those niggling little problems but the Kelpie has got the advantage of the same flavor but it got advantage of build quality it's a bit better a lot better okay this concludes the review I hope it was helpful. If you have any comments, please leave below. If I can help in any way, I'll be glad to do so. Until the next review, take care, enjoy your vape. Bye-bye for now.